As a parent, I've provided and in many ways continue to provide for my adult kid. And I found as he grows and matures, while not based on conditions, this provision does carry with it some expectations that I hope will ultimately produce good things in his life. And I believe that's what Paul is expressing to his kids in the faith as we move into 1 Timothy chapter 4. Paul has just verbalized the great mystery of our faith, that Christ came in a human form, was proclaimed to the nations, and believed in throughout the world before he was taken into heaven. And now in verse 6, he sets some expectations for those in God's family. First, explain these things. The things you've heard from me, Paul says, explain them to your brothers and your sisters in Christ. And as they understand them, you yourselves will become nourished by the message of faith. Train yourselves. Now, Paul is not saying get fit, but train yourselves in godliness and you'll reap the benefits not only in this life, but also in the life that's yet to come. And then he says, be an example. Being the recipients of this great mystery, the gospel of Jesus Christ, lead by example in living it out day by day. Lead by loving one another as Jesus has loved you. Lead by displaying your faith that you truly believe that God is in control of everything. And lead by your purity, keeping your way pure by guarding it according to God's word. You know, one of the things I love most about the Apostle Paul is that he doesn't mince words. He's very direct, even blunt, when communicating with those he loves. And here's what I believe he's saying to you and I today. Get serious about what you've been given. You and I are stewards of the manifold grace of God. Therefore, we should handle wisely those things that God has placed into our hands. Explain the things that he's taught you. Train yourselves in godliness and live an exemplary life. How do we do that? By demonstrating love, faith, and purity to all those around us.